Hi, welcome to another episode of I Am Trans News. I am your hostess as always, Novana Beta, and today I'm going to be giving you an update on Chanel Lindsay's case, okay? So, as you already know, Ruben, the gentleman um, that you see here, um, he has been on trial, uh, and they actually came to a verdict. He was found guilty. He was found guilty yesterday. Um, currently he's going through the punishment, the further, I guess they're going through the, um, the next stage of the trial where they're going to be giving him his actual sentence and stuff like that since he was found guilty. I'm happy that he was found guilty so fast. So I'm going to go ahead and read some of this article that's, um, been posted by the Daily News, okay? So without further ado, just make sure you hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe, okay? So it says here, a jury in Dallas County on Wednesday convicted a man in the brutal killing of a 26-year-old black transgender woman more than two years ago. Chanel Lindsay's body was pulled out of White, White Rock Lake on June 1st, 2019. Um, she had been beaten and strangled, according to investigators. She was found with a belt wrapped around her neck and had hemorrhaging in her brain and an autopsy. Says here, earlier this week, um, Ruben told the court that he had met Lindsay on a dating app. The two had spoken a few times before he picked her up in the Arlington, uh, picked her up in, Arl in Arlington um, so they could have sex. He said that he was under the impression that Lindsay was a cisgendered uh, female. But when, but when they climbed into the back of the Ford Explorer, he realized something wasn't right. Uh, according to Ruben, Lindsay got aggressive when he confronted her and they got into a fight. He then was able to get on top of her took off his belt and strangled her. He said <clears throat> he said later he panicked and dumped her body in the lake. According to Dallas Morning News, it took the jury about 2 hours to find the 24-year-old guilty. Lindsay was one of four transgender black women who were uh were found dead in Dallas that year. Her killing was a reminder that this is definitely an ongoing trend that we are seeing, said the Anti-Violence Project. Okay, so I'm so happy that Lindsay has finally gotten her justice and he is potentially looking at life in prison. Um, I'm hoping that's life in prison without parole but i will keep you updated on the case um the evidence was was full it was so much evidence and i'm sure that in, in somewhere in those documentations or the documents that they have or their text messages and everything all their communications etc that she mentioned to him that she was trans I mean, I don't know. I don't know that for a full fact, but I can't see a trans woman getting into a car with a man at night, getting it on in the back. And after you talk to this person multiple times on multiple occasions and you've driven their car, you've done all of this stuff just for... It's a, you know, just for, you know, and then you don't tell them all of that time y'all spent together. So it's very, it was very hard to believe. Um, so I'm happy that Lindsay has gotten her justice and that he is facing the justice that he deserves to be facing. That is my opinion on this matter. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, okay? Make sure you also hit the like button and the notification bell so that you're always alerted to any new content that I post. As always, I am Novana Beta and this is... I am trans news.